If you are new to working with white Portland cement or you've never worked with white Portland cement, here are three things that I would want you to know that are just going to kind of fast track you along here, bring you up to speed on what you need to know about white Portland cement. So the first thing you need to know is that it's going to be expensive. It's going to be a lot more expensive than regular Portland cement. Three times, four times as much money. That's kind of the going rate. So let's say, let's say that a bag of Portland cement costs $20 in your area, because the price will vary depending on where you live. A bag of white Portland cement in that area probably costs in and around 60 to $80, most likely closer to $80. So right away, that's one thing to consider. It's going to cost you a lot more money when you're, you know, whatever your batch cost is right now, it's going to go up by three to four times as much money because the cement component represents one of, if not the most expensive component in the average mix, even the average specialty mix, the cement component is the most expensive component. And we're talking about buying you know, a white cement component, which is three to four times as much money. So aside from the fact that it's going to cost you three to four times as much money for this white Portland cement, you're probably going to have trouble finding it. That's the second thing I want you to know. And that's one of the bigger things I want you to know is that a lot of people complain about it basically being impossible to buy local to them. And it's not like you can ship it in. It's a hundred pounds a bag or 88 pounds a bag. And like, I mean, you could, but you'd be paying more for the shipping than you would be for the cement by a lot. And it's just not worth it. And the reality is, is there is white, white Portland cement in your area, pretty much wherever you live, because there are certain trades and certain applications which require white Portland cement in order to do their job. So somebody in your area is the supplier of this product. Now, will they sell it to you? Can you find them? These are questions that remain to be answered. But somebody in your area, because pool concrete pool companies use uh, an abundant amount of white Portland cement as part of pool plaster finishes. Similarly, stucco finishers for houses use a lot of white Portland cement. There's a couple specialty trades that use them. There will be a masonry supply store, spe like a specialty supply store in your town or in the adjacent town, something to this degree, the closest large town. Somebody is providing these specialty trades workers with the white Portland cement to do their job, certainly. So it's, it's definitely out there. And the good thing is, is that at the hobbyist level, when you find it, when you buy back, it lasts you a long time because... You know, you're probably not doing a pool plaster with it where you need 20 or 30 bags. This is just going to be, you know, one bag lasts you probably a year. Could be a lot, long time, depending on what you're building. But you can make a lot of stuff with one bag of white Portland cement. And I guess that brings me to the third thing that I would want you to know. So how to actually use it. And essentially, in a nutshell, it is a one-to-one -one replacement for gray or ordinary Portland cement. Look at that, I've got some right here. So this is just ordinary Portland cement, OPC. And this is white Portland cement. They look the same. And you do use them as a one-to-one. -one. So like, let's say you're gonna do a mix that would be two parts sand, one part Portland cement. But you're like, oh, I want, you know, white, or I want to be able to add coloration that's more dramatic. Then you could just go to two parts white sand, one part white Portland cement, and that would be sufficient. You can just do a one-to-one -one replacement, but I would want you to be aware of this. The white cement is a finer grind. Like it's a, it's a different manufacturing process, a more select manufacturing process, I should, I should say. And as a result, the grind of this white cement powder is much finer than the grind of OPC. And as a result, it sets up really fast, like lightning fast, um, similar to what like an ordinary cement mix would be with an accelerant in it on a hot sunny day. That's how fast the initial kick is 
on anything that you're making with white cement. So I would say just be aware of that, be prepared for that. That initial kick's gonna come pretty quick when you use a white Portland cement product. You're gonna notice that. It's gonna be noticeably different than the gray stuff that you're used to working with. Well, I hope this information helps to fast track you along. Working with white Portland cement opens up so many doors in terms of like coloration and cool things that you can make. So certainly try to find some. It's worth the hunt to find some in your area. It's worth the price to find, to buy a bag or two, experiment with it, see what you can make, add colorations, it's really cool stuff. If you found this information helpful, please like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and you can learn a ton about how to work with concrete.